Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel for Life After 40. My name is Olivia. How are you guys all doing? I just want to give you the biggest virtual air hug ever. So here you go guys. Here's my air hug from me to you. I pray you are all doing well. So in today's video guys, I'm going to be talking about five things, yes, five things that you need to either swap out or get rid of because they are either causing your hair to break, they are causing your hair to be extra dry or they are just too harsh for your hair. So the equipment number one guys, yes, the crocodile hair clamp. Okay, do you see these teeth? First of all, they are way too aggressive, way too sharp for your delicate afro hair curls. When you use these to section your hair, especially if your hair hasn't been detangled yet, you try to release these and you'll find your hair strands get all caught in between these teeth here, okay? In the process, you are gradually ripping through your hair strands. You're going to cause them to be weakened and then eventually break off. So this is arch enemy number one, especially if you have just washed your hair. Do not, do not, do not use these guys. They are no good. Invest in a pack of these. These are alligator clips, guys. Can you see the teeth here are much more blunter than the crocodile ones, okay? And then it has this kind of dual suspension thing here. So you've got the clasp release there, but also this extra suspension here so when you want to grip large sections of hair this is much more gentle um, it's a lot more easier to release because there's nothing getting stuck in these blunter ridges here so this is much more afro friendly guys please invest in a pack of these I will see if I can find um, a pack of these that I can link below in the description bar on Amazon if not you can get these from any local beauty supply store that's well stocked they will have these in stock they're called alligator grips uh, more commonly guys so please invest in a pack of these and be kinder to your curls mm, 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 mm. please do not tell me that you are still using a towel to dry your hair please do not tell me this please oh i cannot bear to hear it if you are guys you need to get rid of this immediately okay this is good for drying your body because your body has little to no hairs when it comes to our delicate afro hair strands guys we do not need this first of all this will not just dry your hair it's going to blot every single last piece of moisture out second of all it's going to ruffle your hair strands especially if you have got into the habit of using this to kind of just you know rub against your hair please don't do that all that is going to do is cause extra knots and tangles to form and it just makes the whole process of wash day much more problematic very dangerous for our delicate beautiful hair strands guys so again get rid of this if you are using this what you need to do to replace it is use a cotton t-shirt to just tie around your wet hair on your head leave it there let that gently blot out the excess moisture or better still invest in a microfiber hair towel do you see how beautifully soft yeah look how soft the fibers in this are that's just going to like the cotton t-shirt just gently soak up the excessive moisture in your hair and still leave your hair moisturized enough so that when you use your leave-in conditioner afterwards you know you'll still have some moisture left to actually trap within the hair strands okay these are awesome guys they also come already kind of made for you to easily wrap around your head this is the one that I got with my Rev Air but they're so useful because all you do is when your hair is wet just pop it over your hair and you could just look there's a button at the back and you just hook the loop on the button and just let that gently blot out all the excess moisture from your hair guys so yeah definitely a microfiber towel need to pop out somewhere quickly guys because it's chilly and maybe your hair isn't looking its best don't reach for your woolly cap okay because it's going to cause extra friction in those hair strands and over time dryness and breakage and we do not want that we are trying to retain the moisture in our beautiful delicate hair here guys so i am wearing a yanni best cap slouchy cap all of their hat all satin lined this is an essential thing and the great thing about yanni best is they have this cool feature on their slaps okay where you can adjust you can adjust it just like you would do with your wig or your bra strap okay you can adjust the um, width of this so if you've got quite a 
a hairdo that's quite bulky then yeah this is going to be your best friend okay and it is a satin lined as you can see here as I said again these are available on Amazon I will leave a link to their website below but guys they didn't sponsor this video this is something I bought off my own back last year and I found it so useful especially if I'm trying to just get out the house quick and I just need to put something on my head they're very very comfortable and very warm as well but I have to give props to who I believe is the forerunner for these satin line caps and that's Grace Alea. I have had a slap as she calls them from Grace Alea for years and I've washed it so many times that it's actually misshapen now. Um, it's so old. I use this in the house now. I don't wear it out. But yeah, if you are if you are stateside as well, please check out Grace Alea's slaps and she has a variety of different types of satin lined caps and satin lined beanies and things. Please check out her website if you don't know about it already and support a sister. Okay, let's talk detangling now because that's also a very huge issue when it comes to Afro hair. As you guys know, our hair gets tangled so easily, guys. How are you detangling your hair? First of all, if your hair is really tangled up, please check out my video on how to use marshmallow root as a detangler. It will give you guys a phenomenal amount of slip, which is what you really need to encourage those strands to unravel themselves you know and no longer be kind of twisted up around each other but when it comes to hair tools for detangling always 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 a wide tooth comb is brilliant second best to actually finger detangling but in less time a wide tooth comb guys a denman brush if your hair can take it i know that a lot of people modify their denman brushes by removing a row of the bristles here and that gives a wider space between the rows which helps sometimes with afro hair so a denman brush or a tangle teaser those are uh, good i don't have one um, to show you guys but tangle teasers are really good i'll try and insert a picture of one up here or a detangler brush there are several different brands that have this design um, the forerunner for these was the felicia leatherwood um, her brush is actually of a better construction and also the original design since then there's been several dupes of that brush this is one of them i'm not going to tell you which brand i'm holding up but if you just type in a detangling brush look for one that has flexible um, bristles like this because this is much more gentle when it comes to afro hair especially if you have applied something that will give your hair extra slip as well so yeah guys um Make sure that you have this in your arsenal when it comes to your hair care. Please do not be without one of these combs or even all three of them because they will do your hair justice, help you hang on to those strands, guys, and definitely prevent your hair from breaking during the detangling process. So let's talk about parting our hair for the last thing that you should have in your hair arsenal because that is a rat tail comb. Okay, the most popular ones and I would say the most useful ones are the ones that have the metal prong, just like this one. You can get them like this with the plastic, but I would say especially if you're trying to part your hair when it's in its natural state, so when it's curly after washing, I would recommend you buy or purchase one of these with the metal prong because this is going to give you the most precise part and also if your hair is slightly tangled it's a lot easier to deal with it when you have just one very thin um, prong than it is if you have a kind of blonder one that you saw me show you on the plastic one okay so definitely invest in a rat tail tooth comb for parting or better still let's give props where props are due guys an African parting comb I've had this for years a friend of mine bought this for me years ago and I've kept it I've hung on to it because I find it particularly useful when I'm doing band to knots or sometimes if I'm doing my leave-in twist to use this to part my hair funny story my grandmother actually had one made for me when I was younger as a teenager I didn't really appreciate it and I ended up losing it it had four prongs so not three it was black as well much bigger than this and I really do wish in hindsight that I'd have held on to that comb because not just for the sentimental uh, reasons guys but also because it would be quite rare as well so that's one thing I regret so yeah but if you can find one of these African parting combs please purchase one because these are what our ancestors used to use our elders used to use back in the day to part their hair and it's just as effective as it was back then now 
Okay lovely, so that's the end of my video today. I do hope you have found it useful just remembering those general things that we need to make sure that we have either got rid of or that we are incorporating into our hair regimen. Please give me a like, comment below, share your tips, things that you have in your arsenal, things that you have gotten rid of because you found they have been damaging to your hair and thank you guys for watching and I will see you really soon in the next video. Bye!